Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen playthrough. I'm trying to tackle the game on the hardest difficulty. Time to give the Aspirants a chance to level up and what could be a better way of doing that than grabbing some Advent Resource caches. And as part of that we do have quite a large uh, squad and I decide to play it a bit greedy. We're not spending any uh, intel on boosting this so let's see if we can get 15 enemies down. Good, we've landed. This is more going to be power and numbers than anything else. Oh, uh oh, it's one of uh, those where you can't just grab a few. Well, it is what it is. We do not come in uh, stealthed, which means no Oscar Mike because I don't want to trigger anything prematurely. Generally, premature things are not good. What are we talking about? Okay, so this is now an elite gunner. You can see armor and around 20 hit points, super heavy turret. <clears throat> yeah, they are ramping up the hit points. That's the typical September difficulty spike that many long war players know and dread. <clears throat> okay, so. Fantastic. That's a really good position. I've never fought from a garage. Yeah, but I think we're going to be fine. <clears throat> okay, if they're moving. We're going to engage right away. And the answer is yes, they are moving. But apparently we haven't had the chance to overwatch. Unfortunate. Well, look, let me introduce you to a little friend. Who is called Mr. Grenade. Ender Sanders. Strikes very well. I like that. Setting up the mech. Setting up another kill. Okay, the chances are just too low. Starting to shred the turret a little bit. That will also trigger other enemies. Oh, there's another super heavy. Lovely. That will trigger other enemies. We're focusing on the gunner. Should 
Should have done that a little bit earlier, but okay. And let's get this guy down. Nice, we even got Soul Drain, which she now has a lot of uh, mm, hit points ready and available. Moving over here, just making sure no additional pack is going to join. You say. And we're moving closer to the target. And okay, first round, like I said, I won't be winning any prize money with our DPS. Squad Blitz is, I think, uh, regaining all of the actions. No, uh, no, nah, nah. In. Not even going to start considering it. That'll trigger the second turret, which is fine. We need to get it down anyways. And she is the most tanky character that we do have. Moving further forward. No problem, Sniper moves up and I think we're just going to hand over an action so that he still can take a shot. But yeah, we need to deal as much damage as possible. And I think Ataxia also needs to soon lose his... Wow. Oh, we got an evic zone. Yeah, okay. Well, that's far, far away. In a land far, far away. I think we're just going to stay here. Next turn we can use our grenade. And... And... Uh, we're staying here, which is out of range of the turret. Yeah, that's going to tickle it gently. But yeah, one damage is better than zero damage, as they say. That, was close. that indeed was close. Let's 
shred them. Not great, but the best we can unfortunately do at this point. I see the um, are more penetrating rounds. I like that. Who's keeping score? Okay, cool. Oscar Mike and okay. let's move in as far as we can. going to be difficult good listen ataxia needs to scout out and he's doing a fantastic job such a hard pack Free reload for the sniper. On the move. High ground. Finally. I'm trusting you here. Okay, I'll go. Got it. Lance can reload. Overwatch. I'm trusting you here. Grenadiers go further to the front. Overwatch. No problem, boss. That was not good. We get a couple of overworld shots, but we have also triggered them. Not great. Not great at all. That on the other hand was fantastic. We got a decent chance to just shut him down. Yeah, I didn't, get it. didn't work this time, but it was too bad. He moved, got into a flank position and needed to reposition. Spectres are going to be a problem. But we do have hit point leech, which is going to naturally heal us. So to a degree that was one of the better targets that he could hit. This may be 
Let's hit the Spectre. Because the rest I can kill more easy. Triggered another pack. Wonderful. Well, well, well. Rapid deployment. Let's see if we stun anyone here. Nope. Which means we actually need to kill them. Gonna need a reload soon. You're nothing to me. Still getting the Centurion. I guess that'll be okay. What's over there? Anders moves up. Got nice little grenades, but none of them actually kill. Okay, never mind. But was a poor attempt. That would be a kill. That would be a maybe afterwards. But we can't let him sit with one hit point, but we would be able to kill him. Um, some answers a problem. Okay. Um, no, no, no. We could stand here and basically tank. You know what, we still got Bladestorm, so when it moves, we can still tank it. Newton Centurion goes, and then we just have two Spectres to deal with. We're immune to his fire. <coughs> well, we're not immune to the damage, of course, but to the consequence of fire. 
Not immune to the stun though. Gives everybody a few more hit points and we have a lot of options. Target rich environment, never a bad thing. Andrews <coughs> moves up. That's unfortunately not going to happen. That isn't going to happen as well, so might as well just do the one point damage. here Jimmy all right nice little insanity to take this guy out control just at the right moment in time let's try to raise him nope it didn't work we will be flanked from over here sucks but we can take this guy out well, it's moving over there for next round and shield bearer. Unfortunately, just a really scratchy hit. I think, yeah, that was predictable. Fun part about that whole engagement on the right hand side is he's sh uh, shooting through the very same shields that he has given his own mate. And now he's burning. And guess who else is going to make you burn? He's burning the lands. Because he's a dragon man. Throxor. I don't think that many of you will know that meme. It's pretty, pretty old school. Got it. Good, that'll scout him out. Okay, I was pretty sure that that would have been the last one. But now, dear viewers, we do have yet another problem. Advent Commando, oh yeah, that's a problem. Reloading and 
steadying the weapon because elsewise we would be without a weapon next turn and we can't have that. No great position to be in. This is a good position to be in and one where we maybe could take out the commando. Okay, fantastic. So at least one shot less that's going to happen. The Berserker remains a challenge. I don't see a great way around that other than locking on, buckling down and just dealing a lot of damage. We're going to take high ground soon. For now, focus on the Berserker. And rescue private lands with a mind merge. I'm taking fire. Okay, he won't die now but luckily we were protected No, no, yes. <clears throat> we can move on, which we will do in a second. This hopefully will <coughs> crowd control him. Good next turn he's crowd controlled. Well done, Enders. Let's do this. Fabulous. kill this guy and then be killed ourselves let's first get uh, the <coughs> spectre down that's the most important thing now
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Psyops best invention since sliced bread. Good, next up, this guy here needs to die. Commando, because that's a bigger threat. Vince can't do a lot, anyways. Might as well do this and kill the, the guy. Good, that reduces shields, which will give this year a better outlook. Back into cover and flanking. Who's keeping score? Very good. <clears throat> and we're going to take the Advent Commando. Cool. Good overall damage profile. I like what I'm seeing. protected so that's good Redford not now please nice little zip, zip it would be perfect down sniper moves forward striker kills the guy okay and now it's time to pick up as much as we can and Get out of here. Two upstairs. You're going to get one. You're going to get one. You're going to get that over there. Okay, pick it up. Thank you. I can't believe we actually 
managed to get through all of that, which yet again shows you if you just persevere one step at a time, nothing crazy, but one bit at a time, there is a good chance that it'll be worth your time and it'll, it'll work out. Good. Is there any other one? We got five this time, yeah? One, two, one, two, three. And that's pretty much it. Which means all there is to do is move everyone as close as possible to the AO. On it. Good to go. Step it off. Overwatch. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. I'd strongly advise we consider pulling the squad out of there. Look. I was never known to pull out, <clears throat> so that's not happening right now. We're making it in time, that is fantastic. End of turn. Good job, everyone. Good job. I think that went just as well as one could have expected. Yes, we took a little bit of damage, but it was a pretty fierce firefight. I couldn't, I couldn't control all of uh, them. At one point, I thought Enders uh, might be dead, but we came in clutch with a rescue. And as I operate this in my perspective, where the real v uh, MVPs here. Lots of extra hit points for others, soul leech for themselves. It's just really, really strong in those prolonged firefights. And if they had stasis on top of it, we could have even done it without taking that much damage. Impressive work, Commander. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Very good. So death from above. And since you already start acquiring Pistol traits might as well start giving you a couple. Center mass, yes, please, and soon hold a targeting. <coughs> Enders got the nice little lone wolf. <coughs> hmm. That's not bad. But formidable is also very, very good. Oh, he has cyclic fire. Hmm. Maybe he's actually going to be like a fire support with a bit of extra support. I like it. We're going to build it that way because cyclic fire will be awesome. He also has steady hands on top of it. So we, we can work with that. Good extra skills. Revival protocol is not even a question. And look at that, 146 supplies. Because we brought all of them home. Good job, guys. All around good job. 
So we got Fortress, which I value very highly. <coughs> Facebook isn't bad either, but Fortress is the way to go. <coughs> Not even a question. In my perspective, the single strongest um, skill in the game. The single strongest skill in the game because it not only makes you immune to all of uh, the nice little uh, things that uh, Hesmas vest would do, but also the explosion immunity is just great. I had one playthrough with Hogbite where he had Fortress and not Bladestorm. I think it was uh, against the Hive. And there you can just see how absolutely busted that ability is. It is beyond crazy. Okay, we're going to heal and we need new missions. That's what I was about to say. Finally, so we got a good mission over there, which again, the rookie team could do. Before we're going in, before we're going in, I would like to do some squad management because, <coughs> sorry for that, because as you can appreciate, a couple of sergeants are dropping out and a couple of squaddies are moving in. Which brings us to the question, is there anything anywhere, is any of the chapters low? Two, four, six, that's typically how we build them so far. Yeah, that's typically how we build them so far. I have, am I really creating a new squad? No, not at the point. Uh, we got three soldiers that are loners. Three soldiers that are loners. Okay. Um, that's not bad. Got a lot of enemy material here, and Wolfgang is joining us. Texia. Alright, listen, I'll equip everybody and then we're going to give it a go, because why not? Okay, very good. So, <clears throat> let's move on. I think we still wanted to heal a bit. Do we even have a lot of injured characters is the question as always can we recruit someone the answer is no and we have a lot of injured characters very much ready for and available and yeah we do have a few so healing scanning makes sense we're going to see more and more missions pop up now because a fresh cycle of those missions has has been enabled Uh, East Africa and Eastern Europe. All right, recruitment. And did I s just see inappropriate Murphy coming through? Oh yeah, there he is in all of his glory. Wonderful. Inappropriate Murphy is has joined. I think he's going to become a sniper. He oftentimes had been one. Stronger combat units with more hit points. Okay, cool. We're continuing the training. Wait, before, before I say that, wait, before I say that. We also wanted to start training on our prime uh, team, but I think that currently is engaged with the Chosen, right? Um, yeah.
Let's see if I'll do 125% and if it is lower than 15, then that would be good. Wow, plus one resistance context. That's really good. And it starts the liberation and it, it takes a long time. Oh, that's the type of mission that we were looking for, the dream. Liberating North America. Okay, we're going to <coughs> take you guys <coughs> and Implacable plus Plisket. Implacable. Plus Plisket. There we go. So we still have plenty of time left over i'll just equip everybody and we're going to give it a go all right they are well equipped and ready to go i'll potentially do it uh, right when we hit 100 percent and don't over infiltrate that way we'll get more kills and they can certainly take that New Australia got another rookie for recruitment. Sure, why not? Game still gives us plenty of soldiers to recruit. On level three and we got more people recovering from the wounds that's great what we have no one to increase their bond level sacrilege and we got a supply rate with enough time to actually do it fantastic that's not bad. We need a good team for that. We need a very good team for that. So let's do squad management. Blood Angels are effectively on the mission with the Grey Knights. We took the ones that are not Master Sergeants. Space Wolves. Um, yeah. I think this here is the team I'm looking for. If we boost it, we come in clutch with, I think, just enough to pull this one off. All right, let me figure something out. Okay, so that's going to be yet another mission infiltrated. Squad green to deploy. Start that infiltration, and that's very important for me. So the Ultramarines here need a boost. We want to kill all of the enemies and keep them um, enemy units are going to be super uh, tough if we're infiltrating that way but once we're fully infiltrated that would be good okay cool so we got a couple of interesting missions ahead now let's continue Go to our Psy Operatives lab and find out that there is a no one there, which really makes it a shame. Okay. Finally got the bolt caster, but I want to save the supplies for research. Advent incorporates uh, defense against our hacking and that will make it more difficult to take them over some of the units that is 23 hours hmm berserker queen is on that mission uh, nah can't do it not with 23 hours That on the other hand we could do. 
better liberated now than later. Or better start liberating it now than later. We need a small team for that. Four people could, with a boost, be a hundred percent. And the Space Wolves can be those four people. Question is, do we really want the Master Sergeant there or are we doing that? Florida does something else. And we're putting you in here. All right, let me work with that. Okay, there's going to be a hot ride. Oh man. Another 30 until down the drain to liberate this region, but it's worth it. It is worth it. So this here is the liberation, boost the infiltration, yes, and we're at 86 intel. Yeah. Well, we're getting intel back. We're also getting into there, so it's not really that bad. That's why I like to have a bit of a uh, bankroll of Intel, just so that we do have the option to uh, to actually deal with uh, those situations where you need more than one uh, unit. We're their only line of defense. Where well, you need more than one infiltration. Oh, okay, yeah, that's sure. But hiding is okay. In here, you're going to help recruiting. Thank you. And we're slowly but surely kind of getting the havens up. That's good. Very clear uh, separation. These are the money makers. Soon I think we're going to, once we do have 10 there, we can do a similar split like in New Australia. Get some more money in. Or we're just hiring. That's fine as well. And once we have 13, we go all in with the supplies since we are recruiting so much there is continuously someone being recruited somewhere hard to keep track of all of that smash and grab apparently south america is uh, the place to be at the moment once we had turned on missions there apparently Everything that Advent is doing is happening there. <clears throat> so we got like what? Um, six days? Okay, cool. Looks like a mission for the Salamanders, <coughs> which are just coming in clutch. Oh boy, I need to upgrade your weapons. Some of them are atrocious. Let me do that. Okay, shifted around a couple of guns. Should be enough. We got at least one coil gun. So, yeah. Problem now is I first need to upgrade all of the weapons to plasma for the prime teams and then it's kind of uh, triggering uh, more weapons. Uh, going downhill to the lower level teams but if someone now only has a laser weapon that's a problem and I, I mean someone who's a damage dealer not of course kind of your random Joe Schmo that is running around with a laser stern gun we want to take out the chosen once and for all we should move to strike their stronghold Okay, Reduce Avatar Project of course comes in like super handy, handy dandy as they say. Upgrades, teamwork, training. 
Mobility points always comes in handy. Let me just double check something real quick. How long until supply drop is immediately happening? So we only have the chance to uh, get one more in. And I think then it's clear we need to get this one going. Hey Aaron, Brian Brewer, and Ranvin. There's an ambush uh, chance, but that's okay. I mean, pff, that's not a problem. No failure chance, and we will get a reduction in the Avatar project. That is super helpful. New, still not bonding you. Stop asking me. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Oh, that's nasty additional dark events, not good. Uh, we need to start infiltrating him as well. And I hate sabotages typically end up being a bit problematic okay so oh yeah well still the same it's still the same uh, infiltration I I think uh, we might as well now go for 200% Avengers. and then afterwards uh, they are infiltrating the other stronghold right away assuming of course that we're going to come back Yeah, so enemy activity does not decrease any further, which means we're going to call in. Have already learned too much about our operations, Commander. If we don't work with the resistance on a covert action to hunt them down, we're going to end up on the defensive. You are very right this time. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We have two chosen strongholds. I'll test the water on the first one, the hunter. Um, hopefully getting him down that would be a huge advantage that uh, the dark claw and uh, the dark lands are great weapons in our arsenal so let's hope we can get that um, for with regards to the uh, assassin we would need to infiltrate that as well but both of them are effectively going to help us um, Plasma Lance is only two days away, and then the last, uh, the last um, weapon that uh, we need is the Plasma Shotty. Then we have all Plasma weapons, then the next one will be Heavy Armor, because we want to do that. It's still September, the September Spy comes, but we are very well prepared. Um, the resources look healthy as ever. We uh, do have a super strong resistance management with three liberated regions. I am thinking about uh, liberating one further region uh, just because um, that'll give us some push. For instance, here, South Africa, if we liberate that now, that'll allow us to immediately to immediately uh, start um, putting everybody on supplies uh, there. It might not be a bad idea just looking at our squads, right? So squad management. Uh, these guys here are in hands. Maybe I'll use a more experienced team something along the lines of this here plus a few a uh, few more psi operatives i don't want to fight 50 enemies with poor weapons and um and meagerly equipped low level soldiers so might as well just use the gunnery sergeants that's also a great opportunity for them to level up um and to showcase their abilities so once the gray knights are done in 17 hours uh, together with the second half of the blood angels and a few of the sparks we can embark on our journey it's a bit of a shame because the sparks i could level more 
but oftentimes we're just not having enough missions to go around as you can see we're currently in kind of mission uh, mission period we still got one two three chapters ready and if i just look at the soldiers uh, there are still there's another chapter maybe two chapters worth of soldiers that we could deploy on missions and that we're currently not uh, deploying uh, that's annoying and i also need to do a better job in not just deploying these guys but essentially deploying them and having a psi operative with us fortunately this time it wasn't working out that well because we had a couple of missions where we really needed uh, the extra intel um but yeah yeah okay end of episode guys you know what the drill is leave a comment and a like down below and next time we're going to face a chosen take care and goodbye